the three local Rocco games on PSP are amazing. They are very good puzzle games. You will fall in love how jolly and happy the game is. You control a blob with the shoulder buttons. You tilt the screen by pressing the two buttons. With X you can jump and with circle you can divide your blob into multiple small ones. By collecting fruits on the map you can make your blob bigger and split it into more small blobs. The game is based around music, so get used to catchy songs when playing the games. The stories are cute, but in their core they are nothing you haven't heard about. You live in a jolly world, and some black creatures infest the world and turn everything into monochrome. By solving levels you return the color to the world. You can see variants of this type of story in multiple games. But still, even if the idea isn't something new to gamers, the execution is unique. The cutscenes are cute, the levels are cute and elaborate. As for differences, Loco Rocco 2 has more minigames than the first one and the levels are nicer and better thought out and have more details. But on the downside, Loco Rocco 2 has half the amount of levels than the first one had. If the first one had around 40 levels, the second game has only half. But hey, get more minigames, your blob has more abilities, so even if the game isn't larger in length, it has more complex gameplay. It's a shame that Loco Rocco 2 isn't an improvement on every aspect, so you have to choose. If you want to keep with a longer game with more depth in level designs, or a more complex gameplay, but which is shorter. I still recommend you to play both, they are amazing. And there is also a third one, which feels more like a spin-off than a sequel. Loco Rocco Midnight Carnival, even though looks like the other two games, it is so much different compared to its older brothers. And sadly, not in a good sense for me. Tastes differ though, and you might like it, even though I didn't. See, the first two games were relaxing, and jolly, and light-hearted. Midnight Carnival is difficult. It's tough levels make you frustrated, make you want to throw your PSP out the window. It's not a relaxing game at all. Sure, this is a win for those who seek a challenge. But me, I like easier games, the ones that help me relax. Also, since the controls lack enough precision, many times the frustration is enhanced due to the poor controls, not only because the cruel levels. You jump and move around with the shoulder buttons, and having almost all of the movement mapped on two buttons makes the controls finicky. But remember, this is only my opinion. You might actually like the game, because I found many people online that praise the game and say that Midnight Carnival is their favorite, so my recommendation is to try it. The first two games are relaxing, are slower and light-hearted, while Midnight Carnival, the last one, is fast-paced and tough. It's your decision to make, depending on your tastes.